We are at a wheat farm in Sharjah which is preparing to welcome its first harvest. What used to be a desert in Maleha has transformed into a green oasis within months. As you can see, the farm is huge. It covers 400 hectares, which is about the size of 500 football pitches. The first phase of the wheat project was launched in November when Sheikh Dr. Sultan bin Muhammad Al Qasimi, the ruler of Sharjah, spread seeds on the soil. The farm is expected to produce up to 1,700 tonnes of wheat in March. Uh, we are expecting the harvesting uh, date to be near uh, uh, 15 to 20 March. The wheat will be going uh, to the local market here in Sharjah and UAE. We are not adding uh, chemicals and additives here. We are expecting uh, that the products will be available in market uh, during maybe next uh, May or June. The fields are irrigated using this water reservoir. In a day, up to 60,000 cubic meters are pumped out to the fields using six large suction pumps. The project uses these mechanized sprinkler systems, which can be moved using motors. Three state-of-the-art technologies help to monitor weather and soil conditions. First, sensors are used to measure the quantity of water in the soil to avoid water wastage. Secondly, this on-site weather station predicts temperatures, wind speed and humidity conditions for the next 48 hours. If rain is forecast, the farm cuts down on irrigation to save water. And third, satellite technology is used to monitor the fields and check the state of crops. From seeding to irrigation to harvest, the entire process is automated and mechanized thereby reducing the dependence on manpower. Currently, the farm operates with the help of just two engineers and six to seven workers. Uh, we face a lot, of, a lot of challenges because uh, uh, most of the elements uh, uh, that's available here um, from actually seeds, uh, from equipments, from agriculture, uh, uh, irrigation systems, it wasn't available in the country. Uh, even the manpower, even the, the expertise. Um, so in three months actually it was uh, uh, a challenging project. Uh, Alhamdulillah we finished it. This is just the first phase of the farm. It will be followed by other phases to reach a total area of 1,900 hectares by 2025. There's also a small experimental farm on site where about 30 varieties of wheat from different countries are grown. The crops are studied, monitored and measured every day by experts. The experiments help in selecting the best variety of wheat for the project. The UAE imports about 1.7 million tons of wheat. The crop's production is an agricultural milestone as the country works on increasing food security amid rising concerns over climate change.